Am I the a-hole for making my son pass out the candy he got from trick-or-treating because he was being rude? My son is 9 years old. We went trick-or-treating like we usually do and the night was going well except when we got to a house that had a bowl of candy sitting on the porch, it said, take two please. He puts his whole hand in there and grabs about six pieces. Of course, I corrected him and made him put four of them back, explaining we needed to leave some for the others. From then on, he had an attitude, and the last straw was when I told him to stop grabbing so much candy from people, and he screamed no. We had only been out for about an hour, so I took him right on home, took his candy bag, dumped it in a bowl, and told him to come sit outside on the porch with me. He objected, of course. As kids came by and took handfuls of his candy, he complained they were taking too much and I told him that he shouldn't have done the same then. His father came home from work, asked why he was in his room crying, to which I explained why. He said it was really cruel to give away the kid's candy just because he was taking a little too much. I said he needs to learn to not be so greedy, to which my husband said that it's okay, it's Halloween. He said I was being a jerk and that I should cut some slack for the one holiday that kids get to pig out. I don't agree, although I figured I could have done this differently. Am I the a-hole? Edit. No, I did not give away the entire bowl. And even if I had, I would have had no problem providing him more once he learned his lesson and apologized. Well, it's not quite within the parameters of child behaviorists who would have wondered why there was no attempt to regulate and de-escalate. Natural consequences going home early. Giving away his candy was punitive. This kid needed a serious wake-up call. But he also needed help. We can't let our kids be Oz. But we also have to remember most of the time they don't want to be Oz. Halloween is known for being an extremely difficult holiday for kids. It's okay to get down on their level and say, we are going home early, do the stunt with the candy for a kid or two, then let him have it, and send to bed with a discussion of what went wrong and repeating the consequences they would face if it happens again is more than adequate. Ensuring he misses out entirely on every bit of candy is just reactive. The lesson has been learned, and then it's just being ground in. Not necessary for emotional growth. Kids have missed out on so much this past year. Some help regulating intense feelings is necessary. And I say this as the strict parent on the block. Some of these comments are very strange. Cruel. Cut contact over candy. This was an entirely proportionate consequence for poor behavior. Missing out on candy on one occasion is not a significant punishment, it is related to the poor behavior and completed immediately, i.e. no ongoing punishment. This is entirely within the parameters suggested by child behaviorists. Too many children don't have parents or guardians who care about them enough set reasonable boundaries with proportionate consequences like this. Definitely NTA. YTA I was completely on board with you making your son put back the extra candy and ending trick or treating early. However I think making him give away all of his candy to other kids is crossing the line. A lot of people on here are forgetting that this child is 9 years old. Yes he's not a toddler, but that's still a very very young age, and sometimes they are being unreasonable that's cause he's a kid. I would have taken away his candy and made him earn it back with good behavior. I think the lesson you were trying to teach your son is a valid one, but the execution towards the end was bad. Edit. Thanks for the silver it's my first one on Reddit. Thank you. I'm shocked at how many people voted NTA for this. I think they're forgetting what it was like to be a kid. As adults, the punishment wouldn't be that big of a deal to us. It'd be annoying to lose our candy and waste time, but it would be appropriate for acting like a jerk. We have bigger worries and bigger joys in life. To a child, this punishment might literally be the worst thing that ever happened to them on an emotional level. The candy that isn't a big deal to you or me is a huge deal to them. The holiday we've all mostly outgrown is one of the three or four most important days of the year for him, and at nine, he's experienced only a few of them and probably only has clear memories of three or four. But even if he doesn't remember the other years, he's going to remember this one. He's going to remember that it was ruined. He's going to remember who ruined it and he won't blame himself. Maybe it won't turn into resentment later, but it's always going to be a sore point and a bad memory about when his mother took away his entire Halloween. I think giving away his candy is what actually taught the lesson. 
if he's been out for an hour, but he's accumulated a lot of candy, going home early doesn't reinforce any point about being grateful or not being greedy. And earning his candy back later doesn't have anything to do with the initial problem. If the problem was him thinking it's okay to take too much candy, the best way to make him see why this is problematic is for him too to see and feel others taking too much of something that's his. This wasn't just him taking too much candy at a house, it was him yelling at his mom when she corrected him. Personally I wouldn't have given away all of his candy, but I still think the punishment was proportionate and actually related to the problem. Something that might actually be effective in changing the behavior. NTA. NTA. You did the absolutely right thing. You are a phenomenal parent and don't let anyone tell you anything different, not even your husband. It being Halloween is quite simply not an excuse not to address an issue with your child. Edited to add, for everyone saying that going home early was enough, the child was instructed to put the extra candy back and be more respectful. His response was to throw a tantrum, screaming no, he'd had an opportunity to learn from the situation, he chose to escalate things, and having to watch other children selfishly take huge handfuls exactly like he was is a completely reasonable consequence for his behavior. Going home early was a necessary step to get to the actual consequences of being a little dick. Nine-year-olds can be dicks and parents should be prepared to provide structure and discipline when their kid is being a dick. Gonna go with a gentle YTA, especially assuming you gave away all his candy. I totally understand the lesson you were trying to teach him, but I think it would have been more constructive to put the extra candy he took the other times, assuming you didn't make him give them back all the time, in which case you'd definitely be the ABC you didn't let him keep any of the extra candy which would have rectified his greedy behavior, or even just a handful into a bowl, and told kids to just take one and let your son know that if the other kids listened, he would get what was left, and if they didn't, he would only be left with what he got. That would have been a better way to sink in the message that his actions were selfish and taking away from other kids. Instead, now he's going to be too upset by this for any lesson to have ingrained itself into him. I get it, he was being rude and throwing a tantrum. But again, taking him home so he had a limited opportunity to get candy would have worked just fine. Your son would have been upset either way, but I'm willing to bet this tipped over into him seeing you as cruel and unfair. I have to wonder. Does your son always act like this? Or is this uncommon behavior? Did he go trick-or-treating last year? BC if not, I wonder if this is his way of making up for not getting to properly celebrate last year. Not that that would excuse his behavior, but I can totally see it being a possible byproduct from you know what.